This is a 1941 Lincoln Send in PR67 red condition. CAC is a proven superb gem. The watery mirrors are almost entirely copper orange, with subtle rainbow iridescence at the right obverse and reverse margins. The strike is bold, and the eye appeal is as impressive as the preservation. The 1941 proof scents were produced to the extent of only 21,100 pieces, at a time when collectors could order their favorite denominations from the mint individually. This praiseworthy superb gem red coin, certified in a green label holder, is one of 19 so certified at PCGS, with none finer. It ended up selling for $28,200. Number 5. This is a 1940 Jefferson Nickel with a reverse of 1938. Graded as PR68 by PCGS. According to Heritage, Ice Blue, Pink Grapefruit, Magenta, and Apricot colors endow this well-struck and seemingly unimprovable PR68 specimen. Even a close examination with a loop fails to reveal any marks, hairlines, spots, or other distractions on either side. An amazingly original piece. According to Ron Guth and Bill Gale in their 2002 edition of United States Proof Sets and Mint Sets, the reverse of 1938, with wavy steps on Monticello, is currently approximately 50 times rarer than the reverse of 1940 variety. This is one of four PR68 reverses of 1938 coins certified by PCGS, none finer. It was bargained for $28,750. Number 4. This is a 1939 S. Washington quarter in MS-68 condition. Great Admin State 68 by PCGS. This is the ultimate registry coin for the 1939 S. Washington quarter, being the sole finest at PCGS. Satiny, unblemished mint luster complements boldly rendered devices. Much of each side is brilliant, although deep crescents of crimson, gold, and amber olive toning appear along the lower obverse and upper reverse borders. Eye appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $30,000. Number 3. This is a 1955 Lincoln Send in PR69 Deep Cameo Condition. Shown as a truly memorable coin in a proof Lincoln Send of any date. According to Stax Powers, this is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery fields support satiny design elements making the entire package smooth in the hand and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, which is not overly generous for the decade and pales in comparison to those of later dated issues in the proof Lincoln series. Even so, David W. Lang, The Complete Guide to Lincoln Sense, 1996, states that full red gems are readily available. On the other hand, the author observes, the greater number of new dyes used also resulted in an increased population of cameos, though deep cameo examples are still quite rare. This true gem ended up selling for $50,400. Number 2. This is a 1935 piece dollar in MS67 condition. The final year 1935 piece dollar is usually available, even as fine as MS66. However, Superb gem examples are inherently rare, with only 16 reported at PCGS, with none finer. This piece is fresh on the market. Brilliant, satiny luster complements a bold strike, and neither the fields nor the devices exhibit mentionable abrasions. An attractive registry coin that ended up selling for $31,200. Number 1 and this is an attractively toned 1932 D. Washington Quarter in MS-66 condition. John Flanagan's Washington Quarter design debuted in 1932, at a time when there was little demand for coinage in the stagnant national economy. The Great Depression had reduced the need for quarters to the point that none were struck in 1931, and none would be produced in 1933. The Washington Quarter was intended to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, a project that had been under consideration in various forms since 1924, and its role as a medium of exchange was a secondary consideration. The Philadelphia Mint struck a respectable total of 5.4 million pieces in 1932, but the Denver and San Francisco facilities struck only token mintages of 436,800 and 408,000 pieces, respectively. Numismatic demand for the coins finally developed after World War II, and most survivors were called from circulation by 1960. Today, the 1932D is scarce, but not really rare, in lower mint state grades, but the issue is the prime condition rarity of the series in gem, or better, condition. 
This superb gem ended up selling for $74,400. Thanks for watching this video. Keep following us on YouTube, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons before you move on with another video. Have a nice day.